this example, we want to compare two car loans of $24,000 with monthly payments. Installment loan one is a four-year loan at 6%. Installment loan number two is a six-year loan at 8%. Number one, we want to find the monthly payment for each loan. Then number two, compare the monthly payments and the total interest paid over the life of the two loans. To determine the monthly payments, we'll be using the installment loan formula given here, where PMT represents the monthly payment. So for loan number one, the monthly payment will be equal to this quotient where P is the loan amount, or $24,000. R is the annual interest rate expressed as a decimal, and is the number of payments per year. So again, for loan one, it's six percent, so that would be 0 0.06 divided by N, which is 12, since we're making monthly payments, divided by one minus the quantity one plus R divided by N, which again is 0 0.06 divided by 12, raised the power of negative N times T, which is negative 12 times T is the time in years, Loan one is for four years, so T is four. We'll determine this value in just a moment. Let's go ahead and set this up for loan two. The only difference here is that T is six because it's a six year loan, and R is eight percent or zero point zero eight. So the payment will be equal to, we'll still have twenty four thousand times, again, now the rate is eight percent, so we have 0 0.08 divided by 12. And then for the denominator, we have one minus one plus 0 0.08 divided by 12. Raise the power of negative NT or negative 12. Now this is a six year loan, so T is six. And now for this example, since we've already done several of these by hand, we're going to go ahead and use the finance menu of the graphing calculator to determine these monthly payments. So we'll press apps, enter for the finance menu, and enter for TVM solver. Capital N is the total number of payments. Loan one is a four year loan being paid monthly, so N is four times 12 or 48. The interest rate I is 6%. The present value of the loan is the loan amount of $24,000. We'll come back to the payment. The future value will be zero when the loan is paid off. Payments per year, 12, because we're paying monthly. Compounds per year is also 12, and the payments are at the end of the month. So now we'll go back up to PMT for payment, clear this, and press alpha enter for solve. The monthly payment will be $563.64. Now I should mention, if you do this by hand, if you round these values, you'll have a margin of error, so the monthly payment might be off by a few cents. Now let's do the same for loan two. Again, big N is going to change because it's a six year loan. 12 times six is 72 and the interest rate is also changing to 8%. So now everything else stays the same except the payment, so we'll go down to payment, clear this, press alpha enter. Notice the monthly payment for this loan over six years would be $420.80. Again, these are both per month. Notice for loan one, the monthly payment is higher, but it's only for four years. The monthly payment for loan two is lower, but this would be for six years. So now for number two, we're going to compare the monthly payments and the total interest paid over the life of the loan. Well, we just found the monthly payment for loan one would be $563.64. And for loan two, the monthly payment is $420 and 80 cents. So if you were to subtract these amounts, the difference would be $142.84. So 
So we can say the loan payment for loan number two is $142.84 lower per month, but the payments would be longer. It would be for two more years since loan one is for four years and loan two is for six years. Now let's compare the total interest paid over the life of the two loans. To do this, we'll find the total amount paid and then subtract the loan amount to determine the total interest paid. So for loan one, the total amount paid would be the monthly payment times the number of months over four years. So we'd have $563.64 times the number of months in four years, that would be four times 12 or 48, which comes out to $27,054.72. Let's go ahead and put this in our table. This is the total amount paid over the life of loan one. And then for loan number two, the monthly payment is $420.80, but this is for six years, so the total number of months would be six times 12, or 72, which comes out to $30,297.60. So again, this is the total amount paid for loan two. Well, both loans amount were $24,000. So if we subtract these amounts, we can determine the total interest paid for each loan. So for loan one, this difference is $3,054.72. Of course, these are all dollars. And for loan two, this difference is 6000 $297.60. So comparing these amounts, notice how that loan two, the interest paid is more than double the interest paid for loan one. Let's go ahead and find the difference of these two amounts. $6,297.60 minus $3,054.72 is equal to $3,242.88. So I can say that the interest paid for loan two is $3,242.88 more than the interest paid for loan one. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.